Good morning. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I spent the entire day, yes, the entire day, going through all the sniper changes from the recent update. So if you're not aware, 13 out of the 17 snipers got changed in this recent update, and a lot of them got changed very significantly. So there's gonna be a lot to talk about in this video. If you wanna skip around, I should have timestamps just so you can go to whatever sniper you wanna hear about, but I'm just gonna go in order, starting with the intervention. All right, so here we go. The intervention got a pretty good nerf. They basically decreased the fire rate from... 45 to 38. So I, I was supposed to shoot there and it didn't shoot. I think it's about an 18% decrease in the fire rate, which is quite a lot. And they also nerfed the reload time from three seconds to 3.8. So it takes almost an additional second to reload the gun. It's a pretty big nerf. They try to like redeem it by giving it a little bit more penetration and slightly better handling. The penetration buff is actually kind of nice. You went from four to six and six is like, okay, you don't even need any more than that. Six is perfect. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm to put on the chay tack from now on whenever i use the intervention it brings it back up to 45 rpm which is exactly what it was before the nerf it also gives you more muzzle velocity which is nice but the one downside is it decreases your like your torso range so instead of one shotting to the torso up to 150 studs it only goes up to like 100 and i mean that's not that bad okay it's it's a lot worse than what the chay tack was before but i kind of prefer this to the non chay tack intervention now because i just i can't really deal with 38 rpm it's just not how i want to use the intervention i wouldn't necessarily necessarily say the chay tag makes the intervention better i just like it for my play style better so yeah if you want to try it out like go ahead I think the Chaytac before was like kind of very underrated anyways. See what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't be able to do that if it was 38 RPM. They also changed the bolt, which is kind of like weird. You can't really tell now because I have straight pull on, but the bolting animation or the new one looks kind of weird. I don't really know why they felt the need to change it, but I mean, all right. Anyways, yeah, that was the intervention. All right, here we go. Next is the R700, or should I say the Model 700? Because they did change the name. Now, okay, this gun, okay, let me tell you. It, it got the biggest nerf in the history of nerfs, okay? The minimum damage went from 60 to 59. That is just crazy. All right, anyways, they also added the 32 ACP conversion, which is an awesome conversion that makes your gun basically like kind of like a baby scout in a way. So I'm just going to put on some attachments and we're going to see what this does. So, all right, so basically just take the scout, give it less bullets, less muzzle velocity and uh, worse penetration, but give it a little bit better handling and a little bit better reload time. And that's basically this gun. It's, it's really, really fun to use though. I mean, it's kind of a challenge because the bullet drop is so bad. It's got 2,400 muzzle velocity, which is basically atrocious. But like I said, it's very, very fun to use. I don't, I don't know if I would recommend using it on like, or using it with a sniper scope. But I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's so fun because the handling is just so insanely good. It's almost a bit more like fun than the scout in a way i would still say the scout is better but if you can't afford the scout and you have the r700 and you have like a few kills on it then i would say give it a try it's very very fun like i said oh yeah and the one thing you want to do with this is kind of just like stay scoped in as you're shooting it as long as you have the straight pull on you can also use this without straight pull or marksman kit just don't use a scope use like maybe a coyote or the iron sights and just run this as like a mini headshot machine obviously this isn't the way i would play because i'm not that great at using red dots on snipers but i'm I'm sure it suits some play styles anyways yeah that was the r700 moving on to the svu this got kind of a little bit of a change they got rid of the long barrel on this which kind of made your headshot range better however they increased the muzzle velocity to 2800 okay you have 150 rpm right i think it's 150 yeah 150 rpm 2800 muzzle velocity one shot headshot up to like 180 studs if you're good at headshotting this could be like super good at medium range obviously i am not so it's gonna be hard to demonstrate that i think they should have increased the muzzle velocity a little bit more just to make it like just that much more usable because I don't see people use this very often at all. It doesn't seem too worth it to use, but maybe there's a case for it because of the muzzle velocity increase. Yeah, anyways, um, moving on to the AWM. This gun got destroyed, by the way. All right, so let me put on Marksman Kit real quick. Basically, they decreased the fire rate all the way from 55 to 45. So a whole 10 RPM decrease. When this gun was already kind of bad, they increased the one-shot torso range a little bit. So now it one-shots to the torso up to like 90 studs. Before it was like 80 or something. All right, map change. But yeah, I need to tell you like why this gun is so bad. It is exactly a Chaytac intervention, except a worse in pretty much every single way. So they both have 45 RPM. That's kind of like the base of the two. This only has five bullets compared to the intervention seven. This has a 90 stud one-shot torso range compared to the intervention Chaytac's 100. 
<laughs> and this also has worse muzz velocity and worse penetration. So it's literally like less bullets, less damage, less muzz velocity, less penetration. I hit my mic. The only thing this has over the Chaytag intervention is like handling and reload speed. And that's it. Okay, it's just not worth using. It is so bad. The op is just so much better. Okay, we're going to talk about the op in like two seconds. Okay, they, they did change the muzzle velocity to 3000 though, which is like, you know, it's 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 okay, but it doesn't redeem the gun whatsoever. It's still like kind of trash. All right, here we go. Let's look at the op because uh, this conversion just basically makes the gun one of the best snipers in the game. So we go from 45 RPM to 65, a whole 20 RPM increase. You get a little bit less damage, a little bit less muzzle velocity, and I think a little bit less penetration, which are kind of like minor stats. But the big thing is that you get more bullets. Okay, the mag size literally doubles. So you go from five bullets to 10 bullets in your mag and that's like one of the most important things aside from like the 65 rpm but yeah i would highly recommend the op conversion it's just the 308 winchester so if you have it then definitely put it on it's like the om except 10 times better so do that especially because like it's such a clean looking gun it'd be a shame to just not use this all right let's look at the trg the trg got some interesting changes it really depends on how you look at it but it could be bad it could be terrible or it could be good so basically they got rid of the one shot torso range um yeah that's kind of interesting no torso multiplier anymore they're kind of like trying to lean into that niche of the trg having 100 damage at close range so yeah they got rid of the torso multiplier instead of one shotting to the limb up to 30 studs and the torso up to like 120 or something you now one shot limb and torso up to 60 studs so it's very interesting they also decreased the rpm by five so it went from 45 to 40 which i just find very very just questionable i i mean i don't really feel like the damage change is a buff it doesn't it seems like more like a rework slash a nerf than a buff because bro what are you doing with like 60 sub torso range with 40 rpm that just doesn't sound good like there is a very specific situation you need to use this gun in to make use of that 60 sub limb shot you'd have to be like an ultra good headshot user and just use this gun uniquely at long range and only whip it out at close range when someone rushes you like if i was just sniping here and i was like great at headshots at long range and then there's a guy who rushes me like here and i'm just terrible at hitting torso shots or something i don't know like it's a very specific use case it might work it might not work i don't know the, the one thing i know is like not many people are going to want to use a 40 rpm gun with only 60 sub torso range like i don't know how useful that like limb shot range is maybe it's pretty useful i don't know now there's also the trg 22 kit which is kind of interesting it increases the fire rate by quite a bit okay it goes from 40 to like 60 and you still retain a one shot torso range it's up to like 60 studs it gets rid of your one shot limb range which is like i don't know it's kind of weird this is basically just an op except less fire rate but you have slightly more torso range and a little bit more pen there we go. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the TRG with 60 RPM. It's it's pretty fun to use. I can't say it's like the best gun in the world, but if it's kind of up there with the op, then it, it, it's probably like pretty good at least. So yeah, if I were using the TRG, I can't really find a great use case for like the 60 stud one shot limb range. I, I can't justify it with no torso range basically. So I would probably use a TRG 22 kit, but that's just me. All right, now we're going to talk about the Mosin. So they did a great thing with the Mosin. They finally brought back the four times magnification on the iron sights. So if you didn't know, they changed it to two and no one liked it and everyone complained about it so they brought it back to four now and it just it's so refreshing finally being able to use the iron sights on the mosin again if you really want they added the all aim so you can go back to the like two times just press t if you want to but i'm i'm sure no one's gonna be doing that uh oh uh oh i'm dead goodbye what is he doing what did, why why do you oh, he just killed it what all right and they also increased the muzzle velocity up to 3000 originally i think it was 2800 so that's also a really nice change basically they just did some quality of life changes to the mosin and made it just you know a little bit more usable which i'm very happy about like it's been a while since i used the mosin i mean i used it recently in a video but it's just like it's not the same when the magnification is just all messed up so yeah i'll probably be using the mosin way more often now and honestly you don't even need attachments on this it's just it's good with no attachments I guess you could run like skeleton grip if you want or you could even go with a full sight setup But I mean you you kind of gotta use the iron sight now that it's back all right, so the other thing they did to the Mosin was they changed the 8mm conversion. Now, okay, I'm not going to lie and say, like, I remember what the 8mm conversion was like before this update. I'll just describe it now. So basically, each bullet reloads individually instead of all at once, which is kind of, you know, it's kind of interesting. And okay, so the ranges on the damage, it's going to be like a one-shot torso up to 100 studs and then one-shot headshot up to 150 studs. So I'm not sure how similar that is to before. It seems pretty similar, but like maybe not exactly the same. And the other thing they did, I'm not sure if it was like this 
before or not, but it now decreases your fire rate to 50 RPM instead of the regular 70. So like I said, I don't know if that's a new change, but I like it a lot. I feel like it balances the gun or the conversion a lot more. I think it was kind of broken when it had 70 fire rate. So anyways, onto the SVDS. So we got this very interesting 10 millimeter conversion. It makes it kind of like a scout for long range. I mean, it has reverse damage, right? So you're not going to one shot head until you're past like 50 studs, which is kind of weird. So yeah, definitely do not use this at close range at all. Try to avoid that as much as possible, but it has 90 RPM and it one shot headshots like all ranges past 50 studs. So it's basically a scout, except you get like a little bit different handling. You know, the SVDS has kind of weird handling, but the nice thing is it's semi-auto. And the other nice thing is that it's a two shot at long range rather than like a four shot, which is what the scout is. So if you're kind of like someone who wants to use the scout because it shoots fast, right? But you're not sure of your like headshot capabilities and you don't want to take four entire shots to kill, then this could be a pretty decent conversion for you. Personally, like I wasn't convinced at the start, but these like reverse damage guns are actually pretty interesting. So yeah, there's that. I don't know if I'm going to use it too often, but maybe I'll come back to it every once in a while. And for the M1903, the iron sights also got increased on the sight magnification. So it's now four times and they added this very interesting suppressor. It has a lot of downsides, which I mean, there's just a lot but the gun literally does not make any sound at all like i will shoot it and there's gonna be no sound the only sound i can hear is the gun bolting at first i just thought it was a glitch like i thought my sound wasn't loading in but no i think this is actually how it's supposed to sound but yeah now that the iron sight scopes in four times i mean i actually like it a lot more it literally just feels like a different gun yeah, I would recommend not using this suppressor because it drops the muzzle velocity down to 2300, which is very, very bad. But I mean, it's it's kind of fun to use. I'm not going to lie. All right. Now the K14 got a huge rework. All right. So before the update, this gun was very similar to the R700. It was just basically an R700 with like better handling and more bullets. But I think the like one shot range was a little bit worse. Anyways. Okay. It's, it's completely different now. So they wanted to make this more of a close range sniper rather than kind of long range as it was before. So the gun now has 70 RPM, which is like crazy, but they kind of slice the torso one shot range in half. So it only one shot to the torso up to 40 studs which is really really not that good oh gotcha all right like watch this ready oh <laughs> he's dead so it's now kind of just like a close range mosin i don't know if that's a great comparison but they both have 70 fire rate this just has like a slight one shot torso range at the expense of like muzzle velocity because the mosin has 3000 muzzle velocity this only has 2500 and i think 2500 is the exact same as uh, the aws so it's it's like really bad I mean, the gun can also still be used at long range, but you kind of have to know what you're doing. You, ha you have to be like ready to embrace the bad Mosin velocity and the bad bullet drop, which I don't know if I'm capable of doing, to be honest. I'd rather just use a Mosin. This does have 10 bullets by default though. So that's kind of a plus. And the handling is actually very good on this gun. So I think it's a very interesting change. For some reason, I feel like Phantom Forces is just way more difficult today. Like everyone is playing out of their minds today and I, I can't really explain it. And the K14 also has this conversion, which makes it kind of similar to the the old k14 except a little bit different so it gives it 60 rpm instead of the old 50 but the one shot torso range is a little bit less i think it's like 66 if i'm remembering correctly which maybe not but yeah, it also halves your mag size. So you get five bullets instead of 10, which isn't really, you know, like the, the old K14 did not have five bullets. It had 10. So I don't really like it for that reason. It's kind of very similar to an OM actually, which as I mentioned is pretty bad. All right, good thing the server browser exists. That lobby was giving me brain damage. Anyways, onto the FT300. So this gun got massively reworked as well. They finally show the fire rate stats correctly. So I'm not going to go through like every single loadout because there's a ton, but I just want to show you a couple. So this one right here, it kind and it, it's pretty good actually i should not have a scope on this okay i have the complete wrong setup on right now oh yeah here's the real setup so integral suppressor and then we, we take off all the sights so yeah now we got this amazing piece of equipment this one shots up to like 155 studs it has really bad muzzle velocity that's partly because of like the integral suppressor but that does give it a little bit more torso range so that's pretty cool it's like an intervention that shoots slower except it has insanely good handling there's no scope sway whatsoever it just doesn't exist so this kind of requires a very unique play style as well well, as you can see, like a lot of the snipers are becoming more niche, I feel like, which is a little bit contrary to the update. I feel like a lot of the guns are becoming more similar, but it seems like the snipers are getting more unique, which is cool. But yeah, so for this play style, you got to be moving and aggressive, but not too aggressive because it only has 30 fire rate. So you kind of like, you got to be aware, you got to be on the lookout, but it does one shot up to 160 studs to the torso. <gasps> no, 
I hit markered. But yeah, if you're moving around with this and you manage to like take cover before you can shoot again, then it's actually a very fun gun. I was kind of wrong about the FT300 in the past. I was really overlooking that like no scope sway aspect of the gun because literally no other sniper has that. It's it's very unique and it just makes it very fun to like snipe with. My kind of theory for why it's like that is because it's an Olympic gun. It's not meant for like combat. So of course it has no scope sway or anything. It's just, that's not how the gun is supposed to handle. So that's just my theory I made up. So I don't know. But as you can tell, like the gun is very fun. It has pretty good penetration as well. But yeah, this is one setup. Uh, thanks to Ruby for telling me about this. I don't think I'd be able to come up with the setup myself. I've also been trying the 22 LR conversion. So this is like also a pretty decent setup. It's not that good, but once again, it's very fun. It's just a headshot aim trainer. Basically you get a 55 bullet mag. So you never have to reload. And the muzzle velocity is, I think it's pretty decent. It's like 2,700. So yeah. Okay. It's not that great, but it's not bad at all. And yeah, because there's no like scope sway or anything, it's basically an aim trainer. That's how I like to look at it. And you don't have to ever worry about reloading because the mag size is just 50 bullets. Okay. For overall for this gun, I don't really know what they changed about it. It just seems different. I don't know. The whole like spiel with this gun is just, you're playing around with the conversions that basically changed like the muzzle velocity and the damage ranges and the damage and that's basically it and the fire rate a little bit so overall it's like it's not the best gun it's not gonna like make you do extremely well but it's very fun okay so i've kind of changed a uh, course on this gun <laughs> i used to hate it and now i think it's actually pretty cool all right anyways next is the m107 it got a little bit of a recoil buff and not much to talk about here i don't know why they buffed it but they did so <laughs> there you go i don't really use this gun ever so i can't really tell the difference I mean, it still has pretty atrocious recoil, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, um, moving on to the Watt 2K, this also got a pretty interesting rework. So now it's more like a DMR. I feel like it's pretty good. It one-shot headshots all ranges and it has 120 RPM. So if you're like really good at headshotting and you don't mind the terrible handling, then this could be like almost better than the Scout. The one problem is it only has six bullets and with 120 RPM, you're gonna run out of bullets really quickly every single mag. So you're gonna be reloading a lot more often compared to like other snipers. It's like a Scout with more fire rate and less handling and less bullets or i mean not less handling but like worse handling you know i'm not really a fan of the watch uk still just because i hate the handling so much it makes me want to quit sniping to be honest that's kind of harsh but that's just how i feel about it i think it would take a lot of getting used to which is like something i just don't want to deal with all right we won the game let's go now i want to talk about the conversions for this gun so the 300 win mag is just a joke like it's an absolute joke it takes away your one shot headshot all ranges they say it acts like an svu but it's basically just oh, an svu except way worse like there's no upside to this at all i mean you do get a two shot all ranges but that's it it gets rid of your one shot headshot it gets rid of your muzzle velocity like it it's it just so bad i don't understand it at all so the 7.5 millimeter conversion is decent i guess it's got about a 68 stud one shot to the torso and has 90 rpm so it behaves a lot like the old watu k but yeah the problems are still like low mag size and just bad handling so personally i probably wouldn't use it but you go ahead and try if you want and okay lastly they changed the ntw they buffed it a little bit um for, for whatever reason. So now it just has more penetration and like, yeah, just more penetration, better muzzle velocity, better walk speed. They added a heavy barrel to it as well. So I don't think I would go without the heavy barrel. Like I think it's always good to have the heavy barrel on. And to be honest, like they, they I think they buffed all the conversions, but I still probably wouldn't use a 14.5 millimeter because it takes away your one shot torso all ranges. Yeah, I would just probably go with like the 20 millimeter or just the regular NTW. I think the 20 millimeter conversion has like 35 studs of penetration so that's i mean it's a lot so yeah they i mean they did buff the gun which some might find like confusing like why did they do that i kind of almost understand it though because it seems like this gun is great up until you use it and then you realize like it's not really that good I mean, it's good for like singular kills, but for doing well in a round, it's just not that good at all. I mean, I would rather use the BFG than this for sure. I mean, the wall bangs are pretty good though. I mean, yeah, it's the NTW, you know the drill. Like you only use this if you're just a wall bang enthusiast and just want to like annoy people. All right, I'm going to put on the 20 millimeter to end the video off. Dude, one day I just want to be like, bam, and just get a kill or like a collat or something. That would be so cool. So this is like the guy I die to every single game. Like this, this is him right here. Th yeah, this is him. Bro, who are you shooting at? Could you shoot from here to the other side of the map? Probably. Okay, I got whoever that was. 
Okay, I killed the guy in the water tower. I think the sand is hollow, so I think that's kind of like why you can actually wall bang through this. <laughs> Dude, I was like sliding down at the same time. All right, Snowy Kirby is shooting through like over 100 studs of sand. I think it's just because the sand is hollow. Okay, I don't know why I turned this video into like an NTW wall banging session. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, Okay, I just got sprayed by an LMG. I think I'm gonna end the video there. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It did take me a while to make. Like, this actually took a very long time. So if you did watch to the end, then that's like amazing. Anyways, yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later.